Here is how to remove, clean, and replace the carburetor on a Suzuki S40. First step is to loosen the throttle cable. Next, we make sure that the gas uh, petcock is set to the on position because the petcock only gives gasoline in that position when there is a vacuum being sucked through the carburetor. So when we remove the hoses, no gas will leak. Uh, remove that clip and then remove this metal elbow from the throttle cable. And then since we have all that slack, we can pull the end of the throttle cable out. Next, you're just gonna take these two bolts off on either side of the bike to remove the seat. Comes out very easily. And we're also gonna remove the side cover. This is gonna give us just better access to everything. Also removing the battery box and the battery because as you can see, it's right behind the carburetor. And without removing the battery box, you physically just can't move the carburetor from that position. These four bolts take a long time to get out because there's not much room in there, but we'll get it. Next, you want to start by removing all the hoses connected to the carburetor. These little rubber hoses uh, just go to nothing underneath the gas tank. Uh, they just go to open air. So watch out because those will probably just fall on the floor when you take them off. Next, we're gonna remove these hose clamps from the rubber boots, pull the boot back, and then we can just wiggle the carburetor out from the boot on the front of the engine. And then there's the clip on the top of the carburetor that holds a hose, so you just unscrew that and the carburetor's free. Now take it inside and start to disassemble. Be careful with this rubber boot here. Try to be neat and organized with everything. It'll be a lot easier to put it back together later. To remove the float, you're gonna have to punch the pin out of place, as you can see I'm doing here. And all of the jets are just sunk all the way down, so you don't have to worry about counting turns or anything like that. Just take everything out. Uh, do take note of the numbers written on the jets, because some of the jets look the same but are uh, different width. At the end of the video, when I reassemble the clutch, uh, the carburetor. I'll go over what jets go in what places. I used this uh, cleaner that I found at AutoZone, which worked extremely well. That's with no scrubbing, this is just how it came straight out of the cleaner. I just left it in for about 45 minutes and took it back out. Alright, so you can see that's jet number 230. That goes right there. And that's jet number 45. That jet goes right there. Um, don't put any of those rubber parts in the carb cleaning solution. Uh, it'll deteriorate your rubber. So I just washed that rubber part off with a paper towel and uh, some water.
You don't want to put anything rubber or plastic in the carb cleaner because it's some pretty nasty shit. Putting this back together is a little tricky, but you'll get it. It's like a puzzle. That jet has the number on the side of it, and it goes down in that hole there. And then this is jet number 155 that I'm currently holding, and it gets that brass washer behind it and goes right in the center. Next is that little thing. All right, there's the needle and the float. So stick the needle onto its little tab on the float, then put the needle in its hole, and then you put the hinge pin through the, through the float. And you'll have to tap that in with a hammer. Gasket's back on. Cover's back on. And screw it in. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so I've already put the carburetor into the rubber boots. And I'm gonna show you where these hoses go. So, start with the throttle cable. This hose from the petcock goes right there. This big black rubber hose goes past the carburetor, back towards the air box. These shiny black rubber hoses, there's one on either side, and those just go up and under the gas tank to the open air. And then this one with the spring on it goes from the petcock down to the other side. Comes around and goes right there. And that's the other shiny black hose I was telling you about. Goes up under the gas tank just into the open air. Alright, then I just put the battery box back in. Put the battery in. Put the side cover back on, put the seat back on, it's all straightforward. And then I uh, set the petcock to prime, to prime the carburetor, and it started right up. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.